Hi lads, Sean here, and today is my first review on the Rugby World Cup 2011 demo. This demo was released today, the 2nd of August, on Xbox Live, and it will be released tomorrow, the 3rd of August, on PlayStation Network. Obviously, this is the demo, and there will be changes from the main game, which comes out on the 26th of August, I think it is. And from the off, you see the commentators you can select and the languages you can select. And you can select three different types of commentators from the likes of Sean Fitzpatrick, which commentated in EA Rugby 08. Um, this game's made by 505 Studios and HB Studios. I was quite disappointed EA weren't associated with this rugby game as they do make uh, great sports games, the likes of uh, FIFA 11, which they put a uh, mass amount of detail into. But this game's made by 505 and HB. So obviously, you can see the licensed teams in the Rugby World Cup, and this game doesn't include the uh, licenses of. Uh, Australia and New Zealand which is also very disappointing seeing as the Rugby World Cup's on in New Zealand um, the reason they don't have the licenses of that is they got beaten by uh, another challenging game called Rugby Challenge um, which will be released around the same time this demo is a uh, South Africa versus England I went as South Africa and I, as you could probably tell uh, South Africa's I mean England's uh, kit was the 2007 Rugby World Cup kit that would be changed the only reason it was the old kit was a uh, England are only after releasing their new kit in the last two or three days, so they didn't have it enough time to put it in the demo, but I'm guaranteed it will be put in uh, the full game. From the off, you see the controls are the loading screen. Another thing which is quite disappointing, uh, as, as Rugby Challenge, have a, you were able to play as your players in a Rugby Challenge. When the screen is loading up, you're able to kick around and score try, something that I have in FIFA 11, and which is something I really liked playing as in FIFA 11, rather than seeing a uh, controller with a uh, controls of the game and from the off you see the the presentation is quite nice uh the crowd looks good and the stadium looks quite good and um the players look again quite good you see matt field and players like nick easter look very good but then again some players look terrible the likes of mike tindall looks like he's he looks terrible and toby flood has like really bright blonde hair and looks like a f 10 year old in the game for some reason but uh some players look all right the likes of peanut uh the likes of uh staying here and as you see the gameplay is very like rugby 8 you have the exact same kickoff as rugby 8 um just kind of pull back on the controller and press a to kick it off and here's our first bit of gameplay here's the rook as you see there's two power boys bars either side of the rook that's uh how much uh effort you're putting in with your forwards and how many forwards are actually in the rook and uh, that control the rook so if the bar is full you're obviously putting a lot of power in you're having a better chance of turning over the ball and um uh it will tie your team down overall here's the first thing you see that's not in rugby challenge the quick line out i'm nearly sure i haven't seen that in rugby challenge pro it probably will be in rugby challenge by the end of it but i haven't seen it so far uh quick line out I, obviously i screwed that line up out and you see uh set play and um by England but uh, I I put a big tackle in on uh, Hape I think it is or Tyndall and uh, I get the ball turned over uh, there is the beast I think it was and he has long hair for some reason and uh, here's the first line out of the game um, the line out is totally different from Rugby O8 it's it's really changed dramatically since then uh, in Rugby O8 you, you press down to lift up a player and uh, A to throw to the front of the line out uh, so to throw to the front line out you'd have to press down and then press A and and to throw to the middle of line out you'd press uh, left and then press B um, but they, now they got rid of that and all you have to do to throw to the front of the line out is press A and the player automatically li lifts himself at the front of the line out and to throw to the middle of the line out it's B and to throw to the back it's Y as you can see there uh, they turn over the ball so it's actually quite easy to win uh, and turn over ball i stupidly try to touch down the ball there but uh kick it out with stain by accident and uh here's the first uh scrum of the game the scrum's the exact same as rugby 08 i should say and uh it's a to put in the ball and x to hook hook it back to the scrum half and what's different from a uh, rugby challenge as well is you can actually drive with your rub uh, with your number eight i i haven't seen that in rugby eight although i nearly sure it i mean i haven't seen it in rugby challenge although i i'm sure that will be in rugby challenge as it's a big part of rugby and um 
from the presentation looks quite good uh the you can see all the advertising which will be in the rugby world cup and in the top right corner you can see the rugby world cup, rugby world cup logo and this rugby world cup scoreboard which is quite a nice addition and um there is a, a line out shown to the backs um one thing that a uh, rugby world cup is missing obviously being world cup game there's no clubs teams in it so you can't play as the likes of munster leinster um and all those other teams uh that likes to lose and all them but uh in rugby challenge they actually have uh, all the league's license i'm nearly sure except for the south african league which uh on the forms they said they were desperately trying hard to get the south african league's license um so they have a uh, they have the likes of the Rabo Direct 12, the likes of Munster Leinster and, and uh, all them uh, licensed. Uh, they have the Viva Premiership, so the likes of Wasps, uh, Northampton and all them licensed. And the French 14, the likes of Toulouse, Spirits and all them. And they also have the South, they also have the Australian and New Zealand leagues, the likes of the Crusaders, the Chiefs, etc, etc. So um, that was the first drop goal of the game um, by Toby Flood. Uh, again, it's the exact same as Rugby 8. You just press B to do a drop goal. Um, box, I mean X, I'm not sure what X is. Uh, I mean A is to punt it for a line out. Uh, B is a drop goal. X is a chip or, uh, yeah, a chip and why is a gary owner or an up and under um if you call it that so um the controls are really the exact same as rugby 08 uh, a new thing they've added in is if a player is isolated and say if uh, england tackle me and i'm isolated their player can just press x to go straight into the wall and pick out the ball straight away uh, as the ball is released there is no tacklers in on him he can just pick up the ball straight away and run with it i think you can see toby flood uh at one stage presses x and he runs away with the ball from a, a free rock and there is our first try of the game and our first conversion which is the exact same as a uh, rugby 08 as well and uh the there's also the same skill moves in rugby 08 as well the likes of there are the side step which is down or up um <laughs> excuse me and uh, the shoulder challenge the shoulder barge uh, is forward if you're running with the ball and if you just press back on the right stick is the handoff so not much change there from rugby 08 um obviously there is a uh, set plays which aren't in um rugby challenge which is uh, i i kind of like set plays in a uh, rugby uh in the rugby world cup games um the likes uh, uh, you can do uh cross field kicks you can do uh uh like <laughs> there's loads of other ones classic i think it's one as well so that's the end of the game and the end of this review um all in all it's a good game but i'm gonna stick with rugby challenge i think rugby challenge is a much superior game and uh, obviously you can see all the licenses and stadiums there five game modes uh, so that's it from me lads please like comment and 